up Scorpios it's West Coast Tarot with your February love general reading this is for my lovely Scorpios Sun Moon rising and Venus this is a general reading and may not resonate with every Scorpio out there um, but if it does and I vibe with you and you like my style please like the video and subscribe to catch future videos um, also any decks that I use I always list that information down below as well as personal readings if you want to book a private reading with me, okay? Um, roles can be reversed, time is fluid, and I do welcome cross watchers as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Sorry about that. My baby wanted soda and I told her no. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what the messages are for you guys for this month of February. What messages do my Scorpios need to know? Messages for my Scorpios in regards to love for the month of February. What do my Scorpios need to know? Ooh. Okay, so we have patience a lot of you guys need to um be patient in a situation realize that things take time it's all about divine timing we have a throat chakra a lot of you guys need to start speaking up what's on your mind um eliminating any blockages or any fears of communication and let's see what else we have One more spirit. What else do my Scorpios need to know? Woo. Okay, and intuition. Okay. So a lot of you guys um, really need to just, this is like temperance energy, Sagittarius energy. A lot of you guys really need to realize that things take time. Right now you need to balance your emotions and realize that things are not always going to unfold at the level or the pace that you want it. Sometimes you have to plant seeds and wait for them to grow. Um, you have to nurture them and apply this to your love life. Like you don't get things instantly how you want it. You get things when God allows it, okay? Also, we have the throat chakra. So a lot of you guys really need to... Um, speak up. Maybe you guys have a blockage where you're not really communicating how you want to with a person or expressing your true inner feelings to them. But you need to, um, in order to move on or in order to grow, you need to start communicating and putting out into the universe what you want, okay? And followed by intuition. So this is like my high priestess energy. So a lot of you guys need to, you intuitively know um, something's not serving you or a path that you need to go on. So if you guys feel something in your gut, if you guys just feel something, really pay attention to that because you're not wrong. Um, with the intuition, you're not wrong, okay? Let's go ahead and put these here. And we'll get into the tarot. Okay, messages for Scorpios for the month of February in regards to love. Scorpio for the month of February in regards to love. Scorpio for the month of February in regards to love. Okay, we have Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, the Hangman, rever um, the Hangman Reverse, the Moon in Reverse, Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, interesting, High Priestess in Reverse, yep, Strength Reverse, Five of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Reverse, Queen of Cups, Death, that's your energy, the Tower, Reverse, 
Ten of Pentacles Reverse and the star. Okay, so overall for the month of February, you guys are looking towards something else to invest your time in. Um, you guys desire stability, you desire to be happy, and you're looking for something else, something else to catch your eye. I feel like with the Ten of Swords here, you guys have just really been hurt and disappointed. Um, someone may have hurt you, but with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like what's done is done, okay? I don't think it can get any worse than what they did. And this is someone that you may have invested time with. It could have been a, a relationship, a long-term relationship. And it may have ended due to a third-party situation. It could have ended due to another substance, too much partying. But I feel like you guys no longer want to hurt. You guys want to focus on the positive. You guys want to rejoice. You guys want to party. You guys want to celebrate. You no longer want to dwell in the hurt and the pain of what this person put you through, okay? I'm going to clarify um, Three of Cups, though. Spirit, please clarify Three of Cups. Please clarify Three of Cups. But I feel like you guys did put a lot of time. You guys did put a lot of time into this relationship. And that's why the pain was so strong. Is because of all the time you put in. Um, yeah, with the Three of Cups clarified by Eight of Wands in reverse. You guys are wanting to celebrate. Wanting to... Wanting to look at life from a whole new perspective. So I feel like you guys do just... I'm going to clarify Eight of Wands, though. Spirit, please clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. Death, that's you. So you guys want to move on and something that's not serving you. But there's a blockage there with the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's a slight blockage because of the pain. Moving on from... A third party situation that wasn't getting you anywhere with the eight of wands there. It wasn't getting you anywhere and you're coming to the realization that it's not. And you are seeking out something better. You want to change. You want to change for the better. For your energy, I have the hangman in reverse, the moon in reverse, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. So you guys are learning to... You guys are releasing a situation, okay? You're coming out of the hangman position. So you're no longer putting yourself on pause. You're no longer just contemplating what your next step. I feel like a lot of you guys have learned what you needed to know. And you are willing to release this. So a lot of you guys are releasing something that had a lot of secrets around it. There was a lot of illusion. Um, and I feel like you didn't know all of the circumstances around the situation. But it was something that... Maybe at one point you did put a lot of time and effort into, but you know that it could not be successful. You know that there was no repairing it. You know that it's just not something that can be fixed, okay? Spirit, please clarify the moon in reverse. Please clarify the moon in reverse. Yeah, it was a toxic situation. Um, you guys may have felt bound to it, but this is something that, you know, you didn't know all the facts, but what the universe was does want you guys to know is that the situation you're releasing so yourself from is for the best because it was such a toxic situation, um, something that you felt bound to. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and that's Capricorn energy too with the devil there. Three of Wands. Yeah, you're, you know this is not serving you, so now you're looking beyond the horizon. Like, you're waiting for, you made the choice to make a change, and now you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're seeing what else the universe has for you. You're waiting for something else new to come into your life, okay? After releasing this toxic situation. 
Um, with the other person's energy, I have the High Priestess in reverse. So they're very secretive. Um, with the Strength in reverse, that's Leo energy. And Five of Pentacles, that's Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, yeah, a lot of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. But a lot of you guys are just... Um, this person that was in your energy was very secretive. Um, they were very prideful. They were very weak, emotionally weak. And this is someone that you may have blocked or they may have blocked you. Um, you may have realized that they weren't serving your highest good because of all the lies and illusions around them. And you decided to put an end to this. Um, or this is someone who maybe pulled back from you. But I'm going to clarify this, okay? I feel like you guys left them. Spirit, please clarify the High Priestess in reverse. What are these secrets about? <clears throat> Queen of Cups. So this person is like someone who is all over the place emotionally, not really warm and fuzzy. Um, this is water energy, so that could have been... Um, please clarify. This person... There's a lot of secrets and illusions, but this person also has... A lot going on emotionally and they're they're not emotionally available for you okay um, please clarify strength and reverse spirit higher font this person could be married or you could have been married to them um, this is Taurus energy so this is someone who's weak this is someone who's weak and prideful um, they do with the Hierophant here. They're putting on a front that they're holier than thou, okay? Like they're better than you, that they're really by the book, that they're really a wise person. Um, but they're not like that. I feel like that's a front. And Spirit, please clarify Five of Pentacles. Also, this person could have been married or you were married to them. Okay. Yeah, they want they want to be recognized. They want success. Um, but right now, there's a blockage there. Spirit, please clarify Six of Wands. This person is... They do want to be recognized by you, but I feel like you guys aren't giving them um, time of day, okay? Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. And this is something that was, um, maybe at one point you wanted success, like you felt it could be successful, but this person was one-sided. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you were the one giving. They never gave back to you. I'm um, very one-sided, um, where you gave and gave and gave, and they took and took and took and took, okay? External to you, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So externally to you, there could have been another person, um, it could be male or female. This cards are gender neutral. But there's another person that um, externally to you may have meddled in the relationship. This person is someone who's lazy. This person is someone who's mean, who's cruel, um, who's selfish. Um, someone who is not very stable in their life. This could have been the person that hindered a relationship. Um, but this person may have meddled in the relationship. And that's something that may have affected the relationship. Also, this person could have been of Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they just were not a very warm and fuzzy person, okay? Which was not your problem, it was their problem. Obstacles, we have Queen of Cups. So it was like looking elsewhere. You know you weren't emotionally fulfilled in this relationship and you're looking beyond the horizon as to where you can get what you truly desire, okay? Spirit, please clarify Queen of Cups the chariot. So yeah, you are moving on with the queen of cups here and the chariot. You guys are moving on, um, to where moving on to see to other ventures in your life. Where can you find happiness? You guys do desire to be happy, but you know, it wasn't with this king of pentacle. Okay. You, in the reverse, you guys weren't happy with this king of pentacle. You guys wanted to look for something else. Um, 
You know, this is cancer energy, but you guys are looking towards what can truly fulfill you. How they see you is the death. So they know, that's your energy, Scorpios. So they know that you are moving on. You know, you're, they know you're putting an end to this relationship because something else is better for you in your life. So they know that you're looking on. Um, you don't want to rebuild with them. You want to move on to bigger and better things in your life. How come we have the tower in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse, and the star? Yeah, so you guys are like, by leaving this person, you're avoiding a disaster, okay? You don't want to rebuild with them. You know, things may have ended, but you don't want to rebuild with them. You guys want something better in your life, okay? Um, you know this wasn't something that would, at one point you did see it as successful or something that could be successful, something that you wanted more long term, like a family with them. But now you realize it was false success. It was something that was not going to ever, like, pan out because they were too, they were too involved with other avenues of their life, okay? Um, with the star card here, this is Aquarius energy. I feel like you guys are focusing on yourself, regaining balance in your life, regaining balance in your emotions, and really just trying to heal. And that's a beautiful thing. I feel like a lot of you are going to heal yourself um, so that something else can come into your life, okay? Spirit, please clarify the star card. The Empress, yeah. A lot of you guys are healing um, and nurturing yourself, putting yourself first, okay? Um, others of you might have someone very warm and like giving kind nature, very nurturing into your life. Healing yourself to allow something beautiful that will grow and expand your life come in, okay? Um, let's go ahead and see what my spirit wants you to know. What do my Scorpios need to know for the month of February for their highest good and clarity? What do my Scorpios need to know for the month of February for their highest good and clarity? What do my Scorpios need to know for the month of February for their highest good and clarity? In regards to love and life, what do my Scorpios need to know? For the month of February. Messages for Scorpios. Woo! Persistence. Even though there may have been many challenges or changes in your life recently, you may have to become more persistent to get what you want. With persistence and good advice, you will achieve it. Do not give up. So if you guys are um, exploring other avenues in your life or other options, um, don't just give it your all. Um, don't back down. Ooh. Yeah, and that's followed by guidance. So it says, um, with sorry, my video cut out. Um, guidance can come in many forms. Listen to your intuition, okay? So someone has it, has or is about to enter your life as a teacher. Great opportunity to advance. You may decide to go back to school or further your education. Guidance can come in many forms. Listen to your intuition, okay? Intuition. You guys really need to listen to what your heart's calling out for, what your heart's desiring, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pull some romance angels. But ultimately, this is a beautiful thing. I feel like you guys are really just moving on to bigger and better things. You know what you want. You know what you need. Messages for Scorpios for the month of February, please. What can we help them with, angels? Messages for Scorpios. So unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this past this relationship going. I don't know why I said past, but yeah. The relationship with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, this relationship that you guys were in was unrequited. Um, meaning, you know, not only did not only did you give more, but it was very one sided and maybe there wasn't enough attraction there or chemistry, so maybe you felt more in love with them than they did. Maybe you cared for them more than they cared about you. Um, 
maybe they felt more, they weren't as connected to the relationship as you were connected. Also finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that could have played a major role in your life as well. Um, whenever finances are affected, it, it does, it does affect your love life. Okay. Um, let's pull some guidance cards for you guys. Messages for Scorpio, please. But whatever new avenues you're going down, the self-healing, do it. Because I see it. Um, I see... I see healing. I see healing and the Empress there. And that's a beautiful way to end your reading is with the Empress card there. Like you guys are going to be nurtured, okay? This person, the Empress could be giving you, this could be the person giving you guidance in your life. Messages for Scorpio, please. It says... Receive with love and appreciation. Receive something lovingly from others as a way of showing love. So this person, um, I take it as receiving like guidance and clarity and love. So this, when this person does offer you what you need in order to heal, just really be appreciative of it. Um, it's a gift from them, okay? It's a part of them. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpios. I wish you the best um, for the month of February, and I will catch you on your next video, okay? Take care.